Hi guys, this is Nandini at Surviving Medical School 101 and welcome back. As you can tell from the title, today we are going to be completing the triad of first year medical courses and talk about what books and resources I use to study biochemistry in my first year of medical college. Now biochemistry is the unfussy subject. It was the easy child of the family. Speaking from personal experience, I scored a distinction in all my exams of biochem, be it internals or my final university exams. And at the same time, it was also the subject that required the least amount of effort. That's why it surprises me to hear about medical students failing in biochemistry. And I honestly believe that this is not because biochemistry is a difficult subject to grasp or understand, but because after completing their course of anatomy and physiology, medical students tend to give up. They feel like biochemistry is an easy subject and so they'll be able to wing it, which is why they don't prepare, they don't study and come exam time, they goof up really bad. So before I go on to the books of biochemistry, I really want to put it out there that while biochem is the easiest course of medical school, keep in mind that it's still a course in medical school. And so while you can get the most amazing results in biochem by putting in the least amount of effort, you do have to put in that amount of effort. You cannot wing it. The answers are not going to come to you out of the blue in the exam hall. You have to prepare. You have to put in that amount of effort to get that, those results. So coming to the books and resources that I used in biochemistry, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to mention one holy grail textbook that is the only textbook that I used in biochemistry in my entire first year and also I'm going to mention a couple of references both Indian and foreign authors so that you know if you wish you can supplement your reading. So let's start by talking about my holy grail textbook which is the textbook of biochemistry for medical students by Prasad. Now the cover says biochemistry simplified and trust me it is. The reason why this book stands out from the other million textbooks in the market is because uh, it has really, really simple language. And this makes facilitates learning because it's easy to read, it's easy to remember, and it's easy to recollect. Also, the information is organized in such a manner that it makes studying really efficient, really quick, and, you know, it really makes the process super simple. Another amazing thing about this book is that all the diagrams are hand-drawn. For example, uh, this is a diagram for the radio immunoassay and one for ELISA and you can see it's hand-drawn, it's simple, it's labeled very simply. Also, uh, let's see, okay, so this is the DNA replication, again, hand-drawn diagrams. The reason why this is I prefer these kind of diagrams over uh, illustrations is because these are really easy to remember and replicate in your exams. Also this book is filled with flowcharts and um, tables in almost every other page. It has tabular format, simple like a very very simple format of you know explaining the information, everything important are in boxes. So it really facilitates learning and I, I believe this is unlike any other textbook out there. And one of the biggest advantages of this book is that it has what it calls exam tips and answer keys in certain pages. So basically what it does is that it gives answer hints. So you know if you get this kind of a question these are all the points that uh, your examiner is, is accepting expecting in your answers so like I said this book is wonderful this is kind of my life this was the reason why I was able to study minimum and get amazing marks in biochem and if you're an Indian student an Indian medical student I would say trust me close your eyes and buy this you will not regret it I promise and if you're not an Indian medical student and you know this might be a little bit difficult to get your hands on and maybe may not be as relevant so i will have another book suggestion for you coming soon but even then even if you aren't an indian medical student and you can you know get your hands on this book i would suggest still buying it because this is going to clear your concepts like no other okay so moving on to references now these are textbooks that I probably would have used had I not found Prasad but because I did I did not actually use any of these in my first year at least so 
these are books that are good they have good content the information is good and if you can study through them then you will get good marks it's just that studying them is a little bit more harder than prasad so first talking about two indian textbooks which is vasudevan and satyanarayan now i had purchased both of these textbooks and i had flipped through them i read i think the first chapter from both and now i don't currently have these books because i have passed them along to my juniors and the reason being that while these books are good cont uh, content wise and also they're really colorful and illustrated the biggest problem that i noticed with them is that the information is very poorly organized and it's given in form of paragraphs now what that does is it makes it really difficult to recall the information and write it properly in your exams and that is a really really important part of your medical school specifically of an indian medical school so i personally did not like them much i mean i i just found them very difficult to reproduce and also i think that they do not compare to prasad at all because the information here is much more systematically organized than those so if you're an indian medical student and you have to make a choice between vasudevan or satyanarayan and prasad i would definitely say prasad but between those two books vasudevan is the more concise version it's simpler and quickly mentioning one foreign author a foreign textbook i would like to talk about lipincott's illustrated review of biochemistry now this is a textbook that i didn't really use much in my first year because like i said prasad was enough for me but this is something that i'm using now while i'm preparing for my steps uh, my us amle step 1 the reason why this book is really great is not just the information given is pretty well organized but also it is called the illustrated review so it is filled with diagrams that make studying really easy honestly for me getting my concepts straight i would definitely go to prasad because like i said this is biochemistry simplified but lipincott helps you apply that knowledge this is more of an application based book it's uh, more oriented towards if you're preparing for your plabs or your usmles or any other um, international residency uh, exams i think this is a great book to use also if you're not an indian medical student if you're a foreign medical student and uh, you want an easy book to read biochemistry this is great Now another foreign author that I would quickly like to mention that I really did not like is Harper. I do not have that book. I never purchased it. I have looked through it in the library and I will be sure to link a photo of it here. This book makes biochemistry the most difficult subject on earth. The text is monotonous. It's written in a difficult language and frankly I I found it super hard to read. and this is not just me saying this a lot of my peers and even on the internet a lot of medical students have the same complaint with harper that one it's unnecessary information and two it's written in a very drab format so it's not a bad book but i feel that there are better books out there in the market so if you want to check that out feel free to go and check it out in the library but i would definitely not so recommend that is all that. for today I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always if you have any comments questions or queries feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or you can always mail me all of my contact details are going to be in the description box also if you like this video do not forget to give this a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button down below so that you get notified every time i post a new video so thank you so much for tuning in once more and i will see you guys next time